Midnight Migration is another film from Illumination Studios. Um, I have seen Migration. It is one of the choices of family <laughs> films that are out there. And I have a couple things to say about it. One, there is a short film that appears before Migration that's better than Migration that features uh, a scientist that's on the moon and the minions are involved. It's very cute, short film, under 10 minutes. That's the opening of you. So if you see Migration, you're going to get this little short film with minions in it. Okay. But Migration is a terrible title for a movie. No kid is going to say, hey, I want to see migration. Because they don't know what the word migration is, especially for the target audience for this film. And the target audience for this film are single digit age kids. And when I say single digit age kids on the lower end of the numbers, we're talking about seven and under. Uh, I found the film predictable, insufferable, but it's because I'm an adult person and this movie was not made for me. Uh, it's a simple story of a father uh, voiced by Kumail Nanjani and his wife voiced by, I want to make sure I get this right. Um, it is Elizabeth Banks. Uh, Aquafina's in it as well. Uh, Danny DeVito uh, voices the uncle. And this movie is incredibly stupid. Uh, Kumail Nanjani's character, Mac, is the head of the family. So it is the family, brother, sister, um, uh, uh, father, mother, that are uh, live in fear because of Mac's fear of leaving his home. He doesn't want to leave his home. He meets another flock of birds that are going south for the winter. And they accidentally, they finally get up the nerve to like, let's actually go south. We'll follow these birds. They go the wrong direction and they end up in New York. That's basically the story. And they have to um, uh, navigate all the dangers of the big city. Um, they didn't show tents in the big city, but whatever. Uh, I was watching um, Geeks and Gamers Daily this morning, and I agree with them. Uh, it was uh, Ryan and, and, and Jeremy were on there. They were talking how terrible this title was. And you literally could have done any other title involving the word ducks, mm -hmm. a duck's life. You know, DuckTales, uh, Quack Attack. Yeah. Or even Flying South, which is, I think, what they meant by the word migration. Yeah, They're migration. And, and I'll just say this. Some people have suggested that maybe migration might be some sort of secret agenda or there's some agenda, political agenda in this movie about immigration. I'm, uh, I'm here to report to you that that is not the case. There is no, it's just a, a dumb family cartoon that is completely innocuous. And I'll say this in, in to its credit, it's very safe. It's a very safe film. If you have younger kids, I think they'll have a very good time at this movie. Movie's not for me, but if you have younger children and you're looking for something that isn't Disney and illumination has proved this, I mean, I got to give illumination studios credit. Okay. Give them credit for a second. They do a very good job of just making films that are, they're just entertaining and they're just films for families. Mm -hmm. All the Minions movies, the Super Mario uh, Brothers film, all of the stuff that Illumination has been doing is like, you know what? We're making family entertainment. Um, some of it scales maybe a little younger and some scales, I think the Minions movies have an appeal to a slightly older audience, can be teens, but Migration is specifically for young kids, not for me, but if you've got young kids, perfectly safe film, um, young kids will really enjoy it. The short film at the beginning, I think was actually for my money was better than the movie that I saw. And that's all I have to say about migration recommended for young children, terrible title, solid entertainment for children. And I mean, young children. So the question I have does does Aquafina stretch herself as an actor? She I is, a, let me just say this. I, I don't mind Aquafina as an actress in a movie. I find her insufferable as a voice actress. I think she is just purely insufferable. Um, she just pushes, she already has like a very kind of weird voice. I'm Aquafina, I'm Aquafina, right? She's got this sort of raspy, 
um, feminine voice and she kind of pushes it, especially when she's playing characters with wings. <laughs> this is not the, I, I find her just that song she did in the little mermaid was un. I mean, it yeah. was like, it will make your ears bleed. That's how bad it was. You no, know, it's funny, but uh, Disney released that song, but then in, you intercut the uh, the foreign actors who, you know, that song in other languages, and you realize just how better that song is when <laughs> it's done in Aquafina's voice. Yeah, she is really, uh, I just have to say, yikes. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I, I mean, I have to say, you know, like Quiz Ladies, she's she's an actress in that. She doesn't right. do the Aquafina thing. And the chat, put her movie. The chat is on fire. The chat is on fire with better suggestions for titles for this movie. <laughs> Let's go through it. Duck, duck, no, says JTP RX. Um, Aquafina have a new bird squawk song. Please say it does, says Andrew S. Not a song, but she's as a voice. Hey, it's me in HD. That's why I come here. Chris keeps it classy and hilarious. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about the classy part, but I try to. I try to entertain. Um, thank you for that. Stone Cold's beer cooler, Quackenheimer. See, Quackenheimer would have been a good title. Um, everyone can duck out of this movie, says JTPRX. <laughs> That's awesome. 